And the 71-year-old who took down the shooter says his training kicked in when the suspect opened fire. Jack Wilson is a certified firearms instructor with a background in law enforcement. Our Caroline Vandergriff talked to him about what happened. She joins us now live from White Settlement. So, Caroline, what did he have to say? Broke Jack Wilson says he doesn't consider himself a hero, but lots of people do. He was able to stop the shooter in a matter of seconds, likely saving countless lives. And all of us are volunteers, none of us are paid. Jack Wilson serves as the deacon in charge of security at West Freeway Church of Christ. The people that were on the security team, we have spent you know, numerous hours training and working on you know, just this type of a scenario, hoping it never happens. But when it did, they were prepared. From the time he walked in the door, we had him on eyes on him, both you know, physical eyes and cameras. Wilson says the man, identified as Keith Kanunen, was wearing a fake beard, a wig, a hat, and a long jacket. Security volunteers were just a few feet behind him inside the sanctuary when he got up and took out a shotgun. After he shot Richard and Tony, he went and started towards the front of the sanctuary, and that's when I you know, was able to engage him, and I fired one round. Wilson hit the shooter in the head. He then went over to him to make sure he didn't get back up again. I don't see myself as a hero. I see myself as doing what needed to be done to take out the evil threat. He's still grieving the loss of his two good friends, but knows it could have been much worse. I take the, you know, the task that I have there serious, and I will continue to take it serious. Wilson will be here at the church tonight for a six o'clock service and vigil. He says protecting the congregation is still his top priority. Live in White Settlement, I'm Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News. All right, Caroline, thank you very much.